Hey guys, we just got back from The Northman, which is a uh, a Viking-like film from Eggers, who is known to have some some odd uh, kind of films, some uh, you know worlds that really involve you. I think he did The Witch. Um, he's he's done something else Lighthouse. too. Lighthouse, right? We gave Lighthouse a ten out of ten. I really really enjoyed Lighthouse. I can't believe I forgot about Mixed. Wendell. <laughs> You, you you were mixed on the lighthouse, were yes. you? Interesting. Okay, well, I really like the lighthouse. I love me a crazy Defoe. Yeah, William Defoe really carries that. So, um, so we just got back, and I heard good things about this one, and I think it's a good film. Um, it's awesome. It really blends uh, sort of uh, Norse of uh, lore and mythology with a real world story uh, that's. It's rather grounded and uh, and 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 more simplistic than I was expecting. So I, I actually kind of wanted it to be a little better than 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 it ended up being. Yeah. But maybe my expectations were a little too high, uh, you know. Me, uh, so, uh, but overall, I really enjoyed it. There was great visuals. There was good music. Uh, fantastic direction. Maybe a little uh, lengthy for the simple story that they're telling. And it just, it just seemed, it needed to have just a little bit more spark to it, a little bit more live to it for me to really elevate it above. Uh, but this is one, so we saw two good movies, actually, uh, today. We saw the and Nick Cage movies. two TV shows. <laughs> yeah, and two really bad TV shows and two good movies. It's been a packed day, so... Yeah. Watch these instead of those. The Northmen and The Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent, which we'll do a review on next. But what did you guys think of The Northmen? Uh, I did like it, but maybe not as much as you. Uh, okay. Um, it was a very basic story. Yes, it's that's a where plot. it... That's all it was. Revenge plot. Uh, yeah. The characters yeah. aren't really characterized or anything. You're just like, mm -hmm. all right, they're just... This is our hero. This is our protagonist, whatever. I wish we would have spent it, it more time with him because you don't really... You know, I wasn't invested. No, in exactly. That's how I felt. I wasn't really invested, but the visuals is what really mm. captivate this movie. Okay. And um, other than that, like that's what he's known for, just his visuals. But yeah. it was just basic and the story, atmosphere. And it was pretty long. It was pretty long. So okay, I'm like interested to what mm. Joe thinks of this one. Okay, Alex, uh, I liked it. I think it is very slow, and there's parts of the movie that do drag. Um, yeah. But it's, I mean, this is a classic story, right? This is the story that Hamlet is based on, which is the story that Lion okay, King see, is based on. Okay, see, I was on. picking so up like, on some Shakespearean yeah, vibes. So that's why the story is familiar. With yes. a lot of the dialogue, there, there. You know, a lot of close-up shots of people's face, kind of giving uh, their speeches and things, and 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 committing to a grand adventure and a grand revenge plot. Yeah, but I, but I I liked it. Um, I think he he really creates a really cool world. He's constantly teaching people. Like even if you love Norse mythology, you're gonna learn something here mm -hmm. about like how. And he includes everything too. Like he includes some of the Slavic stuff and some of the Norse stuff, and he, he blends them together. And I think that there's some really cool action scenes here. I think that there were kind of few and far between. Yes, there was a part yes. in the center of the movie yeah. where it kind of drags on a little bit. But if you're in for like a slower yeah. mythology-driven movie, movie with a story, <laughs> right. like an Eggers movie, then I think you're going to have a good time. You know, I guess I was maybe expecting a Braveheart on a, on a Viking scale. He's and we really more get... More battle or something. Right, more okay. battles. We get a little bit of that. At some point, he's a part of a berserker group. And I was really enjoying that. Yes. I'm like, here Damn. we go. Oh, this is what I was Brutal. wanting. But then he leaves that to go on uh, his fate, uh, to, to ba basically make his fate. And, uh, but, and, and, but that story, honestly, is a little less interesting, I, I think. I, that's the main, you agree that's with the main me? thing, though. Kind of want to stay with those berserkers. That's what I wanted. I was like, what, well, like, just make your own path, man. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and maybe that is the message of the film because ultimately I felt, well, well that was kind of pointless. I mean, if you're kind of choosing the the wrong choice here, but I guess it's your fate. I guess, but may, maybe the uh, maybe the director is making a com comment on toxic max masculinity. Why why do you have to do this revenge plot? You have a, a potential life path that will lead to uh, fullness and and. Uh, and uh, a fulfilling the life. Wanted vengeance. And right, he wanted vengeance, so. and that's what you get in vengeance. But you know what? It's, uh, it's if you're a warrior, <laughs> in those times, 
you don't really want to die old. You don't really want to die with as as Ethan Hawke, who did quite a good job. As I, I really, I could tell. I was like, is that Ethan Hawke up in there with a gray beard? He didn't want to die a gray mm-hmm. beard. Uh, and outside of battle, um, and you know, if you're a warrior in this age, the greatest honor is to die by iron and to die with a sword in your hand, so that you will ride to Valhalla. And uh, they show, so they mix in sort of the mythological. Now, for me, I think that if we were going to tell a simple, so, so more of a simple story like it is, the revenge, and on a small scale, not a big scale. It's not like he's taking on an empire. He's just taking on a, essentially farmers. Somebody wronged him in his past. and uh, he took uh, over the village. But if we're going to do that, I was hoping that they'd meld in even more mythology, even more mystical stuff from time to time. We do get a, a cameo from Yorn, uh, which I didn't expect uh, her to be in it, uh, but you can hardly recognize her like as, a, as a witch. And uh, there's a Valkyrie with, with braces? Did I see... Did I see braces on that Valkyrie? No, what was, was like, that? It looked like just like Little paintings, runes? like paintings on the TV. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yes, my eyes like, are is, bad. No, I saw that too. I was like, wait, is she wearing a retainer? <laughs> retainer braces. <laughs> I don't know what's going um, on. Yeah. You know, Look, man, water's not safe to drink. They drink nothing but beer and mead. If that's what they call it, the Dark Ages for fucking reason, man. Yeah, they, they're seeing all sorts of crazy shit because there's like, well, I'm thirsty. So little kid, you got to drink a gallon of mead because that's all that there is. We like this film, and I, I would recommend that you see it at some point. You don't need to rush out and see this yeah. one. I would I would go see the Nicolas Cage film that we're about to review here in just one second. But um, I want to talk to Joe a little bit because since he likes a little less than we do, did you feel like the movie was like really cool up until the part where he's like, okay, now I'm going to go back to my yes. little quest. No, yes. <laughs> I was, I was it like, takes oh, a turn right awesome. there. It's like, oh man, because like maybe... the mythology is there. There, you you get to see how the berserkers kind of fucking hype themselves up for battle, and you it feels authentic. Yeah, it feels very authentic to the part. region, to to the to the times. There's very uh, they they feature a lot of rituals, and I assume that he's done his research and that these things are things that have been written and passed down or, or at least rumored that, that would occur, and, uh, and I like that a lot. Uh, and yes, so, and then they left to the farm. And, and, then, they, and then they slipped. left to go to the farm, and that's, and that's kind of where it slipped, yeah. Okay, cool. It's good to see that we're on the same page <laughs> yeah. there. Uh, but what did you think about some of the more well-known actors? Did it detract from you that Nicole Kidman is uh, up William in here? Defoe. And William Defoe. William Defoe is always perfect. <laughs> he's dude. playing another crazy guy. He's another. Fu- he does yeah, it so he well. Loves, he's he like a crazy soothsayer. Guys. He was a jester. Yeah, right? jester in this one. Jess, yeah, but more than a jester. You'll Not you'll too. see later on. But what did you guys think of the other supporting cast? Um. I mean, Nicole Kidman got like one really good scene, and she absolutely nailed it. Um, yeah. But I mean, the, the rest of the time, she's just kind of like walking around, and yeah. just, she's kind of there. She has much. one scene in the one movie. Scene. And I was like, that yeah, you're like, yo, yo, oh, yo. yeah. Um, Alexander Skarsgård, dude's though. been doing shrugs for years. Fucking Jack, he's just like he's just fucking. He's jacked. huge. He was fighting the mountain, yeah. and he uh, the mountain's gigantic, right? Yeah. But even then, yeah. like it's like man, man, he's pretty big. Yeah, compared I, think, to me. I think he can take him. <laughs> no, so uh, and then Anna Taylor Joy, she's you know always a you know has a unique look to her uh, as a Slavic slave in this, um, and her fate is tied with his fate, as you'll discover in the movie. But Again, I just don't believe that relationship, yeah. that chemistry. They're like, oh, no, we're ca- the two hottest people here. I guess we'll get the. I know, right? Like, and and okay. I'm like, in this world, it's like you know, I mean, <laughs> in this world, like the, 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 that that she would have been sold. Uh, you know, they're all oh, these are all worthless. Let's not even give them a second look. Her would get sold immediately for, you know, as a whore or somebody who is like a used. If she's going to be a slave, that's how it's going to be. And actually, she is that in this particular film. Uh, the, uh, you know, person who who buys her almost, you know, treats her like that. But she finds a clever way to sort of get out of it um, and then and then start this plot line uh, with this love uh, story with uh, with our main character, uh, Amleth. But overall, good. I mean, if you're going, I would definitely put this one up there. It's like, all right, man, I'm feeling Viking. I'm feeling North, Norsemen, Northmen. I want to watch anything that's associated with that. And this is going to be top. It's going to be up there. So, um, yeah, all right. Well, 
And they, they do make a point to make some of uh, the bad guys overly evil so that you can really <laughs> enjoy it when they're killed. And unfortunately, I wish some of them were killed in more brutal ways. Me too. Especially that, that, that piece of shit. Uh, the little guy. Uh, Thorier the Proud. Thorier Proud. I don't ever remember any of these names. These names are very hard for me to pronounce. But uh, he's the son of the guy that he's going after for revenge. Mm-hmm. That's the one I like, too. I wanted him to get, like, a better death. Yeah, that's the what fight I fight scene, because, like, yeah. as soon as he shows up, he's like, don't look at me, slave. He punches him, but the guy doesn't even flinch. <laughs> he doesn't, <laughs> he doesn't even <laughs> move or anything. He, like, he lets out a noise. I wanted him to let out no noise. Just nothing. Mm. It's like, okay. <laughs> it was it was filmed that way, but he just lets yeah. a small small noise. Okay, uh, let's go with final verdicts then. I'm probably gonna give this a seven. Uh, well, it was pressuring you into seven because no, it felt no, because no, I did, like I I loved it. I loved the visuals. Yeah, it was sprinkled on. The beginning really captivated me. Like I said, I loved it. I wanted to the see more of that stuff. Going, but as yeah. soon as he went to the farmland to get his vengeance, I'm yeah. like. Do we really need this though? Yeah, like, yeah he, he, a made, better a, story he made a there. promise. He's <laughs> like, well, <laughs> and no, I'll tell. Yeah, no, yeah. Just this, it was just basic story. Yeah, I'll talk That's about it in the spoilers where where we were hoping it would go versus where it is, and maybe this is come. That's what he wanted. He wanted to keep it grounded. Didn't want to go. I mean, you can go either way. I, I guess you can I tell this story by more. not going grounded. Yeah, from the trailer, I was expecting more. It's odd, yeah. oddly, I guess the best way to put it is oddly restrained in that aspect. Yeah. While going crazy in other aspects. It's sprinkle some crazy. Them, but sprinkle like, some okay. crazy. But it's the cr- the 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 story was pretty boring. But it, that that was like length. They they should have like trimmed it like thirty minutes or something like that. Cut it down because. Yeah. It's like, all right, we're going to have an attack next night, mm-hmm. next night, next night. <laughs> like, when are you going to fucking do something, man? Do <laughs> something. Let's get this ball rolling. Yeah. Let's, I don't know. All right, all right. Uh, but seven out of ten. Yeah. Okay. I like it a little better than you. Um, I I think he this this movie is just, like, oozing with atmosphere. You can tell that they did so much research. They did their homework. It, it just feels very authentic. Um and it starts really strong, yes. and then it it kind it does drag in the middle. And I think that they just kind of went. Um, it's got pacing issues. It, like they really need to tighten up some of that middle section. Um, I mean, if you've seen The Lion King, you know what the story is. Because The Lion, if you've, or you've watched Hamlet, uh, you, you know because that's what this is all based on. He's basing it on you know established Danish folk tales. Yeah. So I mean I, I enjoyed I enjoyed the movie. It does it I don't think I, I, I don't think I like this one. I think Lighthouse just barely edges it out for me. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think this is a, a pretty great movie. If you're in for something a little more slow burn, uh, definitely check this one out. I'm gonna give it an eight. Yeah, yeah. Uh, for me too. Lighthouse is is a better one. Uh, but this one's strong. I will say it's strong. I wanna give it an eight. I can't I think there's pacing issues. I'm with Joe on that, where as soon as he gets off the boat or goes onto the boat to go back, uh, you know, it, it, it's like, damn, man, there's a better film here. He could still do the plot. He could still do the revenge plot. Uh, but, it, you know, I, it's a great film that I was expecting to be better. Uh, and yeah, you've seen those too. films before. So I'm going to go with a 7 out of 10 on it. Um, it's a it's a good one. This is far and away. This is like a masterpiece when you compare it to Star Trek Episode oh. Eight. When you compare it to what we've seen in Halo. So guys, seriously, uh, go out and see this. If you're really into Vikings, if you love the mythology and lore of Norse people, and you want to see something really authentic and thematic and atmospheric. See, now I'm convincing myself, hey, because there are some great parts in here. Um, and, but it but does you have drag. To it's wait. Yeah, you do have to wait for them. Yeah. So, uh, but that's uh, a recommendation from me to you if you you are into those things because this definitely has it in droves and it and it really revels in its world. It's mm-hmm. just the story itself could have been a bit more impactful, and I wasn't really invested in the characters as much as no. I was hoping I was. Didn't really care, you know, whether he got his revenge or or this blood plot line or any of that. Uh, and then I was hoping for more brutal kills. Now, granted, the movie is brutal at times, but. I was hoping for a little more brutality to those that deserve it. You see what I'm saying? So, anyways, that's our review on the North uh, Men. Let's talk a little spoilers before we go. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next Angry Joe Show. Bye, guys.
Hey guys, welcome to the spoiler section. So Joe, what what happens um, you know, when he gets on this boat and goes back to Iceland that you thought that you know was Well, he's like, "Oh, well, I heard my uncle uh, he killed my dad." Yeah. And took over the kingdom well, and the kingdom fell. So he moved to Iceland. He's like, "All right, so now I got to go to Iceland," which he turned into a sheep herder. That's basically Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's it. Not, not quite right cuz he didn't hear. He saw his father die. Well, yeah. Uh by by the uncle. Uh But no, he heard he moved to Iceland, so then Yeah, yeah. Uh, so what it was is it was a throwaway line and I missed it. Something about he killed his brother for no reason because I think another king or something. King Harold of Norway. King comes Harold in, kicks, his ass kicks, his ass. kicks his ass out. Kicks his ass out. And then he has to, That's who yeah, it was. He has to was retreat wondering. to Iceland. Iceland, yeah. So that kind of punches all of the fucking, you know, wind out of the story. And so now he's kind of just beating up on his <laughs> uncle who has a farm and like five yeah. soldiers. And it's like, really? It's like, you don't what have are, a kingdom, What are we doing though. here? This isn't a kingdom. But it's not about that, Joe. It's about getting personal revenge. They did the fucking ritual with William Defoe, And when you do a ritual with <laughs> William Defoe, you better, f and Ethan Hawke, you better fucking grant, you better live up to it. And he lives up to it. Uh, he finds this... <laughs> He is visited by Bjork, who tells him about this mythical sword that you can only unsheathe at night. And he goes in it, and I'm like, okay, cool. So, And then you know, he grabs a sword, and this fucking creature gets up, and he's fighting it. And I wish there was more of this kind of stuff. And he does defeat it. It doesn't want to go into the light. But then the camera pans over, and he's standing in front of it, and he's like, kind of motionless, like it's all happening in his head, pulls the sword. So they can know. have, they want to do both things. They want to be like, I want this to be real, but I also want to pay homage to the mythology and the lore. For me, I'm like, man, let's just go over here, bro. <laughs> There's That's no reason. Let me, let, me, let me push you in this direction. But he wanted to go take both directions. And usually when you do that, um, it, it doesn't go well for either direction. But here it does go well. Uh, it's just the characters, and I wish I was more invested. Alex, I, I, I had no, I had no issue with it. I like that that it, you can kind of that there's some supernatural stuff happens, and then there's kind of like a hand wave where it's no, it was actually <laughs> it was something <laughs> else, or it's not true. Yeah, but then there's <laughs> then there's some stuff that you know is, is really unexplained. Like where the hell did Bjork come from? Like is is that the wind? Was he crazy? Did he yeah. have too much meat in that that hut? <laughs> like what what is it? So yeah, I, I don't mind at all. The, yeah, uh, and, and then you see these scenes of this tree, the kings, the tree of kings, uh, where all these kings, different branches and shit. Um, and throughout the movie, that plays a role. So he sees his father there. He sees himself there. Eventually, when he ma meets this slave girl uh, who uh, they fall in love and they start of, uh, a pact with each other to get revenge or to fight this guy. And uh, he has a baby with her. And then eventually he sees that he has a, a son and a daughter. And, you know, he has an opportunity to go with her, to just escape, to just go. I don't know why the boat was simply there because they just, like, go to the beach and the boat is just waiting for them i didn't i didn't get that i guess the guy thought that it was his forces the lord's forces that were gonna get on the boat and yeah it's constant yeah. Ship shipments that come Con in from yeah. I from iceland to, yeah. to skin all right it makes sense because uh like uh, he probably knows exactly when those boats come in and uh but no he decides to uh fucking it's my fate i gotta go back but honestly my bro you could have could have just gone with he's her. A strong swimmer. He jumped down the middle <laughs> ocean. He did. He did. He swam all the way back, man. See that, them you see how fucking jacked he is, Joe? <laughs> Some breath strokes. <laughs> nah, you, you can never be too jacked to fight the ocean, my friend. Uh, the ocean will win every yeah, time. He goes Poseidon. back for vengeance. Yeah, he goes back for vengeance. Um, and, you know, I thought, and, and throughout the uh, movie, they said, you're going to have a choice between... Uh, Kindness to your kin mm -hmm. and hatred of your enemies, uh, and he may he says no, I'll do both. So that's how he kind of makes his own fate. And so I actually thought what he meant by that was he was gonna let the little kid live because that's his kin. It's technically you know his like stepbrother or whatever. But no, he motherfucking kills that kid too. <laughs> well, he stabbed him like twenty times. Yeah, I'd kill look, that kid. Ah! Motherfucker, like throws him off. You should throw him <laughs> off, but he throws him off and <laughs> hits him with the axe on the way out. Kid, like kid was like Chucky. Yeah, <laughs> Just jumped on his back. So Alex, what's uh, uh So as a young child, and he rose away uh, as his father was killed, mm -hmm. and they're after him. He says, um, 
He has a little chant to himself. Yeah, I will my avenge father. you, father. I'll rescue you, mother, mother. And, and then kill, kill my uncle. uncle. Kill my uncle. And he says that over and over, and that's the kind of thing. Well, come to realize the mother. Uh, we got a big reveal here. Alex, tell us about the reveal with Nicole Kidman. Uh, it turns out that she like never loved his father. She was actually a slave. She was a spoil of war herself, and so she is the one that talked her husband's Poison. bastard brother into taking over the kingdom. She's like, "Look, I want I want you to kill him. I never loved this guy. He was a psychopath. He only loved gold and slaves and I so she's just as like evil in in, you know, in, in Simba's mind." Or as, is she evil? Because it is the movie here trying to cast light on her that it's like, dude, from her perspective, uh, you know, she's in the right. Cuz right? Because the un- mm-hmm. the his father never loved her. Probably treated her as a slave when she was a slave. Yep. She says, we're all slaves until we're princesses when we become the wives. She's got a fucking point. Yeah. And if that guy is super fucking nice to her and treats her and actually loves her when her husband didn't love her, then, you know, she's a prisoner, essentially, of mm-hmm. the time of men. And uh, now here's where she crosses over yeah, the piece of shit territory. She's like, well, yo, you kill your uncle, and then we get to fuck. And it's like, <laughs> yeah, whoa. Yeah, yeah, whoa, whoa. Well, this, this went from Norse to Greek real quick. Yeah, that, Wait that's, a minute. <laughs> that's where you're done fucked up. You could have yeah. just, like, I don't know, ran away or left. But no, because in those times, she'd be killed. So whatever. Um, so they kind of leave it morally gray here. And he doesn't kill her immediately because it's his mother, and he still has feelings for his mother. And then she goes, whoa, whoa. She starts kissing up on him. She says, well, if you fucking kill your uncle, because it's like, okay, well, we can't have this moral gray. See, this is what I was hoping for, a little moral gray. But no, they press the fucking gas on how evil she is, because now she's all kissing up on her son, trying to confuse him. And then and then she's laughing at him as he leaves the room. It's like, all right, this bitch, this bitch gonna die. Yes. Uh, they, they've tainted her for the audience yeah. but they could have gone a different direction with her to make it a little more complex but that wasn't the story they were telling you have to make them sort of characters uh so that the audience is okay with the revenge plot because you can't fucking go for revenge to a really nice guy but from a perspective he was you know kind of a nice no he wasn't a nice guy no, he ambushed because he is, brother. he's got he ambushed his brother Owns a bunch of fucking slaves, treats them like shit. Was gonna kill kids, like uh, yeah. He's, he's kind His of kids a fucking brat. <laughs> yeah, like n- no one in this movie is all that great. Yeah, no, even the hero killed the kids. So even yeah, the hero's not all that so great because they only <laughs> he can only kill people at night, and then and then he's like, okay, no, uh, you know, <laughs> he doesn't kill enough of them at night until he yells at them in the daytime, and then he fights his whole army, uh, you know, at once in the daytime with a sheath sword. So it was like kind of dumb. And then he gets his ass kicked. But thankfully, uh, Ravens, his father's spirit, uh, starts you know, pecking away at um, Odin shows his up. rope and frees him. Uh, and oh. one of the soldiers couldn't fucking unsheathe his sword. So he's like, ah, fuck it. And he leaves it right there in the barn with him so he can pick it back up. Why not, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so gets that and murders uh, his wife, his son. Uncle comes in. Instead of a fight, I'm like, damn, they're going to do a fight scene in this small little fucking hut that he killed him in? No, he, like, it was in the river of yep. uh, fire. That was Gates also prophesized. Yeah. yeah. So he basically grabs his son's dead body, gra- starts dragging around Nicole Kidman's body. He's like, come meet me at the gates of hell. We're going to fight. And then they fight naked. And then they fight naked. Hey, know, man. I didn't know that was in the prophecy. He was like, well, fuck it. <laughs> Let's get it's naked. Hot. It's motherfucking hot out there, Joe. You going to fight naked, though? Yeah, you don't know berserkers, Joe? <laughs> Little fucking berserkers. Like, I think, like, there's, like, there's a it's bubble short. of lava, like, and it's like, so. Oh, yeah. like, <laughs> you don't fry bacon naked. And you don't fight in lava without at least without a loincloth. I, I mean, look, maybe uh, he has some pants on or something. Right. <laughs> no. Uh, so the uncle's kick, uh, kind of winning, kicking his ass, and then he has one last guttural scream. Uh, the uncles know. beat him. He's on his knees, and he's he, the uncle decides not to kill him for some reason, and they well, start screaming. And then when they had it didn't make any sense. So I mean, if we want to really pick a way at it and nitpick it, like there's opportunity for him to just fucking I mean, murder. He's hanging so there. So many they opportunities. Just killed him. Yeah. Even his oh, slave no, he needs girlfriend. His he needs the heart for his son yeah so once his get it though? once the he pe- never got it yeah once the piece oh. of shit son <laughs> dies uh who we all wanted to die horribly yes but he gets like one second death where he gets a sword run through him while he's sleeping so he gets stabbed three times and then his heart gets removed yeah but he's already dead by then and so he gets his heart and then that's and then that's why he doesn't kill him right number one 
He shows up conveniently to save the this his slave girlfriend because he was just randomly cutting his slave's heads, um, throats rather, and then he just screams and and then he's like, oh there he is, <laughs> and cuts her and then goes to fight him, but no he just lets her go and they all, and then the other thing is he doesn't kill him right away because he wants to know where his son's heart is. Um, and then once they do the funeral for the son, he goes back to kill him, and that's when he's already escaped due to the ravens. So he finally gets his uh, his revenge. Why would you not have guards? Well, what, guard him? I know. Hey, I don't know where all the very fucking dangerous. guards are. They well, could kill a bunch of they the guards. They did beat the shit out of him, and he's hanging. You would still want guards. I mean, I agree. They did beat I the would, shit. He bet the, beat the shit out of the guards in the darkness. You remember the guy that lost his nose in the beginning of the film? He fucking drives that sword through that well, guy's Well, no, yeah, that's what I'm face. saying. When they were, he was just hanging there. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, you mean post outside. guard? <laughs> There's only the like three yeah. guards left. You'd killed all of them. <laughs> his wife really just picks good. him up on the shoulder and takes off with yeah. him. <laughs> yeah, she's strong. Yeah. yeah, she is. So it's hypnotical it's visuals, but it's kind of some <laughs> dumb story choices to make the things work. And God, we're such script doctors on that shit what and nitpickers. Saying? But I, hey, that's just our nature. Crows, okay, but guards, you lost me. Ravens. I know, no, I'm, I'm into it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Ravens. <laughs> Ravens freeing right. him. Yeah, that's good. Totally makes sense. No guards. Come on. What uh, is this? Yeah. Oh, fantasy. And all you have to do is <laughs> let him fucking kill the guards once he gets free from the Ravens, and you're fine. <laughs> Anyways, so that's the Northmen, guys. Um, Look, it's no 13th Warrior, all right? Visually impressive. But Why still do you keep great. bringing up the Cause goddamn Because that movie is fucking amazing. I it's terrible. if I watch it again, it's going to be a piece of shit. Oh, yeah. It's, but it's, Antonio it's, it's, Banderas. It, he plays... It's it's ridiculous. Uh, this <laughs> film is better than uh, the 13th Warrior. So. <laughs> debatable. All right, yeah. debatable. All right, guys. That's The Northman. Uh, thank you all so much for watching, and we will see you on the next Angry Joe Show. <laughs>